Okay, this is gonna sound... Okay, no Keck W-ing. Because I'm going to be doing YouTube content, so I'm gonna be, like, recording as if it's, like, YouTube content. So you're not allowed to Keck W, because it's gonna be like, oh, hey, guys, I'm doing a 10.2, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna... Yeah, so don't, don't Keck W. Let me make sure my hair is okay, and whatever. Okay. All right. Stop Keck W-ing, please! If you guys keep Keck W-ing, I'm going to close the fucking... I'm gonna close my chat. Like, I look to my right, and it's only Keck W. Like, hello? Okay, you know what? I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna close chat for like ten minutes while I do this, and then and then I'll, I'll chill with you guys. Okay. Anyway, time to restart. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a patch 10.22 patch preview and patch rundown. The previous patch was Resident Sleeper as fuck. You're gonna be playing Ari and Sharpshooters the entire time, but now with this new patch, I'm predicting that Dazzlers are gonna be good and Towns are going to be good or Towns going to be good. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead. This is the thing. So for the buffs, they're buffing Vayne, Vi, Eve, Nunu, Ezreal, Set. Buffing Rabadons, Runans, Shiv. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore this because I'm gonna talk about it in depth in the video anyway. Um, one damage upon losses. It's just impacting ZZ Rod. I don't think it actually changes anything. Chosen Roll, it's just a quality of life change. Uh, traits. Okay, so the problem last patch was that Cultist and Keeper Chosens were like anti synergy because Keepers get more shield off other keepers and then the cultist galio gets more based on star level but if like one elise counts as two cultist when you have cultist three your uh cultist elise plus tf1 is only going to be three stars but now there it's going to be five stars so i think that early cultist is again an insta cop and not only that but i wouldn't even be surprised if you can go for like a like a tf3 or an elise three and just go fucking nine cultist but we'll see um, the Dazzler got changed. It basically just got buffed to 8 seconds. I don't even know why this got buffed. I actually think this is going to make it so Dazzler is going to be the most played comp in the game. You can flex Ezreal. I don't know if you guys played at the beginning of the set, but um, at the beginning of the set, a lot of times you were just flexing Ezreal into every single comp, and I, I think that Ezreal will make a return. And not only that, but Talon just straight up got a buff because it's an extra 3 seconds. Um, 4 Dazzler is still a joke. Don't really worry about 4 Dazzler. Um, slight Ninja Nurse, which is fine. I think Ninjas weren't too consistent this patch, but I think they're nerfing it because they're also nerfing sharpshooters, which is right here. Um, it's a pretty big nerf. It looks like a, a buff, but it's not. It's reduced damage, so you're doing less and less damage every ricochet. Um, anyway, so for the champions, Fiora Chosen is going from 400 health to 25% reduced mana. I don't think it really changes anything. I think early game Fiora is going to be better, um, especially like a Enlightened Fiora, and you could run it with four Enlightened early game. But as it goes for late game, you're never going to carry Fiora anyway. Um, Lissandra, it's it's a quality of life change. It's Instead of attacking who it's attacking, it's going to attack the highest attack damage and proc Dazzler on it, which is actually pretty nice. But the thing is, Dazzler, you never really run Lissandra late game. Uh, Vayne, slight buffs, which is fine. I think the unit was kind of bad. Uh, Vi 3 got buffed. Don't think it changes anything. I think there's going to be some 4 fun Vi buffs, or Vi 3 reroll, but it's not actually good. Um, Akali, slight... Uh, longer mana lock, so I think it's not just going to be cast cast. So I think blue buff on Akali. I'm not sure if it mana locks with uh, RSC and based on the attack speed, but I think RSC gives too much attack speed for Akali with blue buff to cast every auto. So if that is the case, then you probably don't go blue buff, but if it's not the case, it's still blue buff. Uh, Eve 3 buff doesn't really matter. Nuna 3 buff doesn't really matter. Oh, this is going to be a really short patch rundown, actually. Um, okay, the RE2 nerfs are actually really big. Um, I'm glad that they didn't nerf RE1 too bad because RE1 is actually like pretty balanced. But I think RE2 is when it gets a little ridiculous. And when you have a rod that gives your team um, the AP and then it also crits on top of it, the damage spikes to like an extra like 300, 400. And if you think about it, like Jin, right? Jin 2, I think, has like 1300 health or something. It's going to get one shot. But like an extra 300 damage based on the AP scaling and also the crit scaling, that's actually a really big nerf. And I think RE2 is actually like hard gutted. I still think the comp's playable if you high roll, but it's not worth just donkey rolling for RE on 7. Uh, face a bug where four out of the five Ashes flurries cannot be critical. So basically, IE was really bad, but maybe IE is still good. I still think that best in slot Ash would be Last Whisper, QSS plus Deathblade. Um, and, but if it's a GS meta, GS can replace Deathblade. Especially if you have Deathblade though, you probably want a Zeke's on Kindred or something to support her with some attack speed. Morgana updating her spell target to be slightly less random. I think this is just to prevent it from ulting one unit in the corner, um, which is basically just another buff to Talon, and that's why I think Talon is going to be beyond broken. Um, they're, they're buffing Ezreal from 75 to 90. Again, Dazzler changes, also Ezreal buff. Also, the unit's not even bad, so I'm pretty sure Ezreal is... Yeah. So I think the comps would be fast eight into an Ezreal flex, 
Which is good, because I think Ezra's one of the weaker legendaries. So, like, as you saw from my previous game, where I rerolled duels, I'm only looking for Lee Sin and Yone. I think Lee Sin, Yone, and Azir have, like, stood out as the best legendaries. Um, and Ezreal, Lilia... Okay, Lilia needs a fucking buff. Ezreal, like, was definitely one on, on the weaker side. Uh, Lee Sin, they're, buff they're nerfing the, the stun on the primary target, and they're also... Uh, but they're buffing the secondary target for uh, Lee Sin too, which is fair because even Lee Sin without Duelist was getting to a point where like if it kicks like a Sejuani, the Sejuani will not cast and will, it will get chain kicked. So this is a fair nerf. I just think that Lee Sin will just be balanced. Like I don't think Lee Sin's broken anymore, especially with the 3 to 1.5. That's a really big nerf. Um, they're slightly buffing Lilia too, but that's not the reason why Lilia is bad. Like Lilia is just bad. Um, set chosen doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters. It is it is nice for a chosen set, but if you have a chosen set, you probably won the game anyway. Um, set they're just slightly buffing set, which is fine, and they're making it so Nunu can't eat set while it's gonna go do push ups, which is nice as well. Okay, Ludens is getting changed, so it doesn't do extra damage to shielded, which is okay. Um, it doesn't really change anything. I think Rabdon's is a slight quality of life nerf uh, buff. Um, 70 total AP to 75. The Rudan's buff is actually pretty big. I, I can see Jin being okay, and I can see Zed being okay, but more so Zed because Zed you're gonna be running QSS and it can it can counter the uh, Dazzler players. But usually if you're going Rudan's QSS on Jin, I think that's way too defensive. A slight shift buff, I don't think it really matters. And then this doesn't really matter because this is only on shielded targets. It's no longer on CC targets. So I, I'm not too sure. Like Locket's not really built anyway. Zeke's slight nerf, that's fine. Zizirot nerf, thank you. I think this item was really broken, but that's a that's a good nerf. Yeah, these are just bugs. Exile no longer failed to create. The shield nested, okay, that's fine. There actually wasn't that much content here.